What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Luigi Gonzalez and I'm a second year medical student in Southern California. Now, with regards to today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about a very unique and honestly pretty useful website for students of all levels, whether it be high school, college, or even postgraduate school like what I'm going through right now with medical school. And that's because today with the age of technology, everything is given to us virtually in terms of like PDFs, um like jpegs you know like everything is now virtual nobody's giving us paper anymore it's always being sent out to us via email airdrop to us and everything like that and with that comes a big adjustment period especially for students because they need to figure out how to move away from what they learned before in terms of learning via paper writing notes down to kind of like getting these powerpoints where you can't really write notes on them so this website is going to help you out and let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Here we are, the website is highpdf.com. So if we take a look, we can see that there's a lot of different tools on the website. It's basically, as the title says, a free all-in-one online PDF tool. And I guess to highlight it, we can just go through some of like the more commonly used ones, I would say. The first one would be basically changing a PDF to a Word document. I know changing a Word document to PDF, you can technically just do that on like Microsoft Word and if you save it as a PDF. So that's pretty simple, but going the other way around is way more complicated. So let's see if we can go ahead and do that. And when you click on it, it basically asks you to choose which file. I have some sample files right here that are already in PDF form. So if I just click and drag right there, you can see that there's two options, no OCR, and then with OCR is the pro version. Um, and as I, as we're gonna learn later on, OCR basically allows it to scan the whole PDF, even if there's non-selectable text, and you're able to edit it. But for our case and scenario, everything in there is text, so it'll be nice and simple. And you can see it's converting the file. So then once I open it up, that's what it looks like. So as you can see, this is the Word document version. And if I open up the PDF, this is what it looks like. Next up is to basically edit the PDF. So I think that's also another important thing that you might have to do sometimes. For example, if a professor gives you notes and it's like in a um, PDF, but then you wanna like add certain things on there because he, might, he or she might have said something that's not necessarily on the PDF document, then you're able to do it this way. So then let's say, you know, like I can add a text, for example, and then say like, I will make sure to do that, exclamation point, make it bigger a little bit, put it right here. And you know, like you can even add shapes, you can add like images if you want to, just manipulate the shape around. Like there's all, so many things that you can do with this tool. And bam, and then if we save it, it's gonna save. It doesn't even take too long to save. You export it, let's see what it looks like. Bam, nice and easy. All the changes that I made is right there. So next up, it's gonna be more complicated. I feel like it's basically changing the uh, PDF to an Excel. So when we go ahead and do that, I made another kind of like PDF file, if we take a look at it, it's a PDF of a schedule. So theoretically, this is going to be for you to use when you have a schedule that's sent to you in a PDF form, but then you wanna like edit things up. So, oops, I should not drag that yet. I gotta open up PDF to Excel, download the file right there. So you can see the PDF version is up here. And when I convert it, and when I open it up, it's already downloaded as an Excel file you see right there. Let's see, what would be fun to do here? PDF to JPEG, that's something that's very common to use just because there's a lot of kind of like different files out there that don't, um, the different systems that don't allow certain types of files. For example, I think Canva has limitations on what files you can upload to it. Um, 
some of like the softwares I use don't let me uh, don't allow like PDFs. So you're gonna have to use either JPEG or PNG, and this website allows you to change it into that. You can even have like TIFF files on there. I'm not sure what BMP will be used for, but the most common ones will be converting it to a JPEG or a PNG. So pretty useful. Honestly, like you can't really go wrong with this app. It just lets you have so many options on how you want to manipulate like your study resources. Then you're gonna have to unzip it and bam. Now it's saved as a PNG. Another important thing that I think is very commonly used is basically merging multiple PDFs together. For example, you have three classes. Like what, I, what happens with me is that pharmacology, pathology, and let's say microbiology are all three separate classes. And they all each have their own like review session, which has a PDF of everything. But if I'm doing a study session and I want everything like in one document, if I'm doing practice problems, which is a mix of all of the questions and I want to look at all of them. I don't want to have to keep changing which document I'm going into. I want them all in one PDF. So as you guys saw, I already have two sample documents. One is the schedule and one is the um, just random words that I put up there. So if we go to, let's see, where is the merge option right here? Merge PDF, choose file. I can go ahead and choose the um, two files right there. So we're going to have the sample schedule and this and if we open it both of them are there you merge it and let's see what pops up so that's the first document and as you can see they're both on the same pdf file now another thing compressing the pdf size honestly this is just kind of like a maintenance thing click and drag whatever document you want to compress and it'll give you options you can go low medium or high and I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. The higher you compress it, which means that you're shrinking it by a lot, the quality is going to be less. But if you see here, you're saving around 70% of memory storage. One other thing that we can do, as you guys can see, there's an additional file that I put. It's a picture of my dog in JPEG form. So basically this website will also let you convert JPEGs to PDFs. So let's see right here. Just click and drag it and you can see that it's selected and once you convert it nice and simple it's basically going to change it up into a pdf form oh that's a really big picture but yeah you can see it's saved in pdf format and now for whatever like reason that you can't upload a jpeg but it needs a pdf you're able to do that also so again to reiterate this makes it very very simple makes it everything nice and easy i love this website Now, those seven features are just the tip of the iceberg. If you guys take a look at the website, you'll see that there's so much more features that you can do, converting PDFs, converting images, just countless of different things that will help you with your school, with your work, or anything involving technology. And that's not all. If you guys sign up and share with your friends, you guys can get access to the VIP um, events that they're doing right now where you get unlimited perks, you get to use all of those features with no limits as many times as you want. You also get access to OCR, which is optimal character recognition, which allows them to basically scan a PDF document and you're able to pluck out each letter and you know just do whatever you want with that. And additionally, you're not gonna get any ads, and the best thing is that, you know, like you and your friends would have seven days of free unlimited access to all of their features. So it's definitely worth it. If you're planning on using this and investing in the account, definitely share with your friends too, so that, you know, instead of just you getting it, your friend will also get the seven days unlimited access. And hopefully you guys will do better in school together through this website. With that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button, and definitely share this website with your friends so that you both can do better in school because school is very important. Take it from me, I've been through 20 plus years of school now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.